Like seriously, are you ready? Yes. You look cute. Can I fix your shirt there? A little wrinkle, but you know. You got a little juice stains on your lip. That's what's, that's not juice stains. What is it? Oh, you, oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like Kool-Aid. No, it's the, it's the fruit punch in the fridge. The fruit punch soda. Oh, oh, is that what it does to you? You was dunking your lips up in there. Oh, I was drinking it. Oh. Okay, so. You ready? There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl, April, and... Sumzy. Yes, and we are back for another Dollar Tree video. Uh, two girls are cheapskates, right? Why'd you hit me? It was like a love tap, <laughs> You damn always it. say that. It is a love tap. You don't know what that a love tap is? You better figure it out, girl. I don't like your love taps, okay? Well, I don't like you, so, okay. So, anyway, before we just carry on, because she must want to argue or whatever... We are going to do a new Dollar Tree video. We had a good time in Dollar Tree, right? We always have a good time in Dollar Tree. So anyway, this time around, we did record some of it, but we're going to show that at a later time. But for this trip around, we spent probably like 50 something dollars. We did get some food items like some Hershey milks, strawberry, um, chocolate, and van no, vanilla oh, yeah. Takis. Remember when I asked for a bag of chips? They have Takis there too? Yeah, they have the small bag. Oh, okay. So, Takis, chips. Um, What else did we get that was food-wise? Um, that little microwave thing. Oh, Nay's microwave dish. Um, I don't know what else, but we got some food items. Let's go through and see what we got. Okay, so I know y'all really don't care about the dog items or dog food items, but if you have a dog... You can always check Dollar Tree. Sometimes their prices are great, sometimes not so much. I think like it all depends on what brand it is. If you're getting like the um, gravy train, I think it's called, you can get that from Walmart for like 44 cents, 46 cents a can. But they do have the Iams, the Iams brand in there. And you're not getting this for a dollar any place. So I think this is a really great deal. Plus, I love the tops because all you got to do is pop them and peel them off. So much more convenient. So I did get um, quite a few of these. You guys know, um, I think my son just drinks up my dish detergent. He's going to try to tell me he don't use the dish detergent. He uses something. I find it in his bathroom. Thank you. Exactly. He, he, I, I don't know why, but I find spraying oil. The little pan. What? I don't know why I find it in his bathroom sometimes. He's doing something with his sneakers. Oh, that spraying oil, my spraying oil. He will take and spray it on his clippers to, that cut his hair and oil his clippers up with my goddamn food spray. It's not for hair products, it's for food. That's what I'm saying, but because it says olive oil on it, he think he can use it, but for real. The other day he was like, I don't be using your dish detergent, lies. That's why I seen him with it, right? Anyway, so I had to buy two more bottles of this, which is the Dawn. I love getting Dawn. You can actually make one bottle into two because it's so non-concentrated. You can actually pour, like save yourself one and pour half and half and add some water. You got yourself two bottles. Sometimes that's what I do here only because of certain people. Um, I had to hook up my grandson. I stay making sure that he got some stuff. He loves the Paw Patrol. What do they call it? Uh, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol from Nickelodeon. So I got him some body wash from there. I'm about to give this to him because he will be in heaven. This one is Pup Pup Berry. He used the Elmo one today. He used the Elmo one? Oh, so. For his little pal. Well, this time he's going to use the Pound Patrol. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol, not Pound. Um, I'm trying to be cheap, but normally I, I never have bought any, ever, ever bought any kind of laundry detergent from the Dollar Tree. I just don't because I just don't think it's going to work really well. Um, I use Gain. That's the only detergent I use is Gain. But I figured I would give this a try. It smelled really good. It's laundry detergent two in one. Laundry detergent plus fabric softener. And this is the um, fresh scent. 
It smells good. It smells like one of the like expensive brands, you know what I mean? So I'm going to try it out and see how this works. I've never used Dollar Tree laundry detergent before. You see those little towels on the thing right there? Hmm? There's the towels on the thing. Yeah. Why did they look like vegetables to me? Oh, did they? I didn't have glasses. You must want to be, um... I was like, is, is the set vegetables? Because that looked like a purple cat thing. It does not look like lettuce. Oh, okay. Well... Moving along. Mumsy got some new dry... Oh, these are not dry erasers. They are. They're fabric markers. No. Ha <laughs> ha. Next time, you better read. Instead of just picking up, it says fabric markers. It's because I got a pair of these, and the Tinky dried them out, and they look just like that. Well, these are fabric markers. But guess what? Where are we going today? Dollar store. We're going to the Dollar Tree. So you can either return these... Or just keep them because it was only a dollar, but you just make sure to get some other ones. So she got the holes. Some hair clips. I love these things. You get 10 of them for a buck. Cannot go wrong. Take your butt to Walmart and try to get these, and you are not getting them for a dollar. These right here, the head wraps, the little headbands, these are good, too, for a dollar. You get six of them. So one day, we was in Walgreens, and this was actually on clearance, and Mumsy was like, buy it, buy it, buy it. And I was going to get it for her because it was $5. But at the Dollar Tree, did they have a whole stack of them? Exactly. Right on one draw, on one little rack for all of them. These are the egg tastics as seen on TV. And they was like, I think they were like $10, $20 on TV. She wanted one so bad. Remember? When we was at Walgreens. And it was like two left. And I it was. Have, you just crack one egg in there? Just one? I don't know. I don't know, but one egg is not enough. Mm -hmm. So, Mumsy loves eggs, and she will make them herself in the microwave because, you know, she can't cook. I can cook. Anyway, I hope there's more left because if there is, I'm going to buy you another one because if you can only put one egg. No, I think you could put more than one egg in here. It's glass? Yeah, ceramic, but it's got like a rubber bottom. I'm not very good with glass. I break it sometimes. No, you won't. This is cool. You just put the egg in here, put the top on. I mean, it looks has like a little, little hole. Oh, it looks um, like a little egg yolk. Yeah. It does look like a, <laughs> it looks like a sunny side <laughs> egg. And you just pop it in the microwave. And it, it's supposed to give you, like, really great eggs. So we shall see. But for a dollar, make me holla. Better than spending five, which was on clearance. Way better than spending ten because these were actually ten bucks at Walgreens. I so. mean, I think it's gonna take one egg because look how small it is. Yeah, but look, it's small. Well, there's directions inside, so mm -hmm. let's see. Oh no, no, you can put more than one egg. One oh, egg, two, two egg. three, four eggs. It gives what? you a cooking guide. What the, the, what well, give it a try. Out. Try it out tonight and let okay. me see. What four eggs and three. Like nah, it'll come, come out. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so yes, the egg. Great for if you have kids who love eggs and can't cook on their own or should not be cooking. Get them one of these. Go to the Dollar Tree. I got this nail polish called My Beauty Spot. I'm not really sure who or what brand or where this is in relation to, but it's called My Beauty Spot. And you actually get two nail polishes in this. Uh, it looks like it's red, but it's more or less like a clear, very bright pink with mm. glitter in it so really cute and dainty oh I see the glitter. you see it now it looks pink and the blue the black has um sparkles in it too so this is cute this is a new item at our dollar tree these uh, nail polishes i did get two of them um it's in another bag other bag but yeah and they're not too big um nail polishes i love little things like this now also I know y'all seen, um, I'm not sure if everybody's Dollar Tree has this, but at my Dollar Tree, we have pillowcases and tablecloths and things. Well, the pillowcases are the satin ones. You only get one per pillowcase, and I've bought those before. The quality was okay, but they was a little bit too small for my pillows. And plus, I really don't like sleeping on the satin ones too much, so they had some new ones in. These are two. In a pack, you get two pair 
of actual um, pillowcases and their cotton material. It gives you the sizes. They're 20 by 30 inches. And these ones are really good because they're cotton. So this one right here I got for my daughter Tati because she has like this chevron print in her room already. But these have pocket, kind of like it has like a pocket. So your pillow actually won't slip out. You know how you have the open end? Well, this one is made a little bit better than... It's pretty. It's a pretty one, right? Than a normal pillowcase. Well, you know something? This one has the open end. But there's another one that I have that doesn't have the open end. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. But this is like a really good quality pillowcase. You feel it? Oh, yeah. This feels good. You get two of these in a pack for a dollar. Very well made. I love these a lot better than the um, than the satin ones. Much better quality. And these are just for the standard size pillows. Pink so ones as well, which are the two packs. I'm not really sure if this is the one that had the... um box in okay, so as i was saying about the opening um in some of them they're a little bit different so this one right here is another standard one these are two pink ones and right here it has the opening the trimming the the hem is a little bit thinner but inside it's folded so all you would do is actually tuck it over the pillow you know you would just tuck it over the pillow and your pillow won't slip out so that's how this one came i'm not really sure if they all do but it doesn't matter. You get two really good quality pillowcases for a dollar. Oh. You cannot beat that. Okay. Also, I got one that has like kind of like some hearts. So it's really cute for Valentine's Ooh, Day. Pretty. Yeah. This one right here to match my bed. Oh, yeah. That one matches. Kind of does, right? With the little flowers. Right yeah, just the colors. And then the last one, which I thought was so dainty and really elegant like, was the white one. So the white one has the lace trimming at the bottom, which is so pretty. So these ones are so pretty, very elegant and dainty. Some baby wipes for Tinky to keep in the car. They do have the Huggies brand. This one comes with 72, so I hope they're good and moist. Two bags of these Dum Dum lollipops for Tinky because he loves them. I keep them in his drawer next to my, on my desk. I thought these were so cute for Valentine's Day. So we got some a puppy dog and kitty cat, a cute ladybug, a froggy holding a heart, and he's so cute with his big smile, pink heart at the end. Hey, huh? That's you, baby. Or with a lovebird. <laughs> He's so crazy. And this little bug right here who's holding a heart. Whack-a-packs. Okay, so these are really fun. Uh, we're going to show you how you use these at the end of the video. So just stay tuned for that. But you get four of these whack-a-packs in your surprise greeting that's inside. So, yes, you guys. Whack-a-pack. Right, so we have six of these baskets. They're really nice size baskets. Um, they're white. They do have, like, a huge color collection. They didn't have any pink ones like this, but they do have like other colors like green, blue, orange, red, but we went for the white. I actually bought the last of the six, and what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to allow Mumsy to clean up her dolls because she has things under her bed, and some of them are just like in bags, whatever, so I thought I would buy these to go underneath her bed. And, you know, some of them have, like, a Barbie, some Barbies in it, some Barbie clothes, or whatever she has. These are really go great under her room. Great for storage and organization. And like I said, this is a really good size basket. It's really a large size basket for a dollar. And, you know, if you go elsewhere, then you're not paying a dollar. But these are stackable baskets. So, from the ridges that are right here, you can actually take them. And sit them on top of each other. So they would have to go in a different direction. So it would be okay. like that. Cute, right? I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really know why you would want to stack baskets. It but cute like that. <laughs> Well, you got to put them under your bed. So they're for that. So we got some lemon furniture polish. I like this brand. There is an orange one. Um, I'm not really too fond of the orange one. It really doesn't give a good sheen. It kind of like gives it streaky. So I like the lemon scent one. I like anything lemon scent. Mm -hmm. 160 napkins. Napkins. We always buy these. We have a little red basket in our kitchen, and we just set them right there. Yeah, because we're out of napkins. Well, we have a roll of napkins. Oh, paper towels? 
Oh, another pack of dum dums. Okay, more dum dums for Tinky Man. This, which is um. So these are multi-surface wipes. Um, they're great for granite tile, wood, stainless steel, and glass. So these are just going to be for when I'm cleaning my makeup dust off. I like to use that. Oh, so there goes the other ones, right? Yeah. So these are the next set of stickers. And what do we have here? We have... We have a, a pink ice cream, and then a purple one, and then this one, and then we have a donut, and then this ice cream. That's a cupcake. And oh, it's ice oh, cream. Oh, a cupcake. Is it? Is it a donut? Or That's a, a donut. I mean a cupcake. These are 3D ones, though. They are? Yeah, because, look, they're like 3D. They have, like, little diamonds on top of them. And we got that one. And the cupcakes and donuts and ice cream and something sweet. So we have these. Yes, these are the St. Patty's Day socks. Patrick's. St. Patty's. No, not Patty's. That's what people call it, St. Patty's Day. It's short for St. Patrick's. Oh. It's just like the cute way of saying it, okay. you know. And we have these St. Patty's <laughs> Day socks. I like these, and I thought they were so cute. They have rainbows on them. They have some other ones with pink and green clovers and it's like glittery. But I thought these were uh, just like really cute. Um, these are um, also do have the glitter four-leaf clover right here, but I love the rainbows in them and the color pink, so... Really cute, right? And then we have the nail polish. This is the last thing? Yep. And another nail polish. This is a pink and red, more or less red color. Right. So, yes, you guys. Wait. This, what? About the, the, remember the sock monkey thing? The tin can? Yeah. I put that back. I didn't oh. want it because I'd be having too much stuff. And I was like, well, she won't mind. I don't be wanting all of that junk in my house. You be having my house with too much stuff like I'm on hoarders and stuff. Like, no. Get, when you get your own house, put all that stuff in it, all right? Okay. All of that stuff, like all right, tin I get cans, it, okay. all of that stuff, cotton balls, all that stuff for crafting. Oh, but wait, we was about to end the video without showing them the wacko packs. So we got to show the wacko packs, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to show you how this Whack-A-Pack works. And these ones are really cute because they have two little red monsters on it. It says Monster Crush, and there's a surprise inside to and from right here. So you would give this to someone just like this, and then they would whack it. You hear it? You did it, too? Huh? Oh, she did one. Mommy did one too. Well, how come mine didn't get like that? How did you hit it? I hit it hard. Okay, so look at Mumsy. She hit it harder than mine. Still? Huh? <laughs> look at that. So inside you get another little balloon. Look at that. This one is so cute. It says Monster Crush. Two little cute monsters and on the back. And then we have this one that says XOXO. <laughs> This one is super cute. It has no. It's already open. Oh, see it? Oh, it's gotta. It's gotta let its way out. It'll come out eventually. This one is really cute. It has. I think these are like little cupcakes. These are cupcakes on the uh, six little pretty pink and purple cupcakes. And all you would do is take them. And I'm not really sure where you would hang them, but. Yeah. It's super cute because the kids will really enjoy doing these. <laughs> this one says, Happy Valentine's Day. Super cute. Isn't that? These are like so cute. Kids love stuff like that. And then they just keep growing. Like, so they is got it, really is it like tight. Is heart? Is it get it's like a little balloon. Oh, it grows bigger? 
No, I mean, it doesn't grow any bigger, but it's this size. So, yes, these are the four packs of Wacker Packs. And you can find these at the Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day. So, you guys, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And, yeah, stay diva and divalicious. Bye. Bye. Hey. Let me see your hands in the air.